All right, up next is going to be the lattice modifier. We had the question of how would you make this fence look like somebody ran into it with their car, and didn't destroy it, but dented it. Uh, so that's what we're going to do. We're going to do that with a lattice. So I'm going to hit Shift-A and add a lattice. And we can adjust the radius. Basically, the lattice, a lattice is a simplified Think of it as like a simplified cage. And however you deform the cage, whatever object you have linked to it will also deform in that way. So it just looks like a box. And I hit tab to go into edit mode. And it's, it, I mean, it really is just a box. But I can't, like, I can't subdivide it. I can do a couple of things, but not much. Um, so what we need to do is first we're going to position this and scale it so that it envelops, completely covers the fence. Okay, so something like that. Next, we need to go into the lattice um, object data properties, which is this green tab on our properties. And here we have resolution, and this is how we basically add divisions. So UVW is like X, Y, and Z. You can see as I add in the U direction, we get those. And V is that way. I'm not going to add any in the V direction. I'm just going to set that to back to 2. And then we will add a couple in the W direction. So once we have that, a simplified cage, now we can select our fence, which still has the arrays on it that actually make it. A, uh, a chain link fence so this can just live in the stack I don't have to apply these modifiers I'm going to add another modifier and this is going to be the lattice modifier it's in the deform section so I'm going to add lattice and it's asking what is the lattice that you want and I didn't rename it so it's just called lattice and we've got a little bit of weirdness and that's because I didn't uh, because of how I made the lattice. I need to go back here. You can see my scale is all weird. Uh, I need to go to object and apply scale. Uh, what did I do? What did I do? Oh. So with a lattice, edit mode versus object mode transformations become very important because a lattice is set up so that Anything you do in edit mode is the deformation that gets transferred to whatever you're trying to deform. So if you want to set the initial kind of position and size of your lattice, you need to do that in object mode. So I, this is just the default lattice that I added. Now I'm going to uh, we'll move it over here. We will scale it along the x-axis a bunch. There we go kind of center it, scale it Z, a little, whoops, a little bit more. It, it doesn't have to be exact, but it should cover the whole thing. And then I also in the Y direction, make it a little bit wider. Okay, so once I have it there, now I go to my lattice um, properties, set my resolution, something like that. And now I can go back to my fence, go to my uh, modifier stack, add a lattice modifier, assign it, and now I can go to my lattice, and now I can go into edit mode. And you can see that everything that I do in edit mode actually affects my fence. So if I wanted to have like a car run into it, I would select maybe all of these control points, these four, and I can maybe bring them back or forward. I can rotate them if I wanted to. I could scale them in either direction. Um, what's also nice is I can go back to my modifier and I can have a strength value. So I can kind of fine tune that. I can also animate this strength value. If I just hover over that slider and hit I, it's gonna add a keyframe for that. I can go to another frame and I can hit I again Actually, if I go back to the first frame and set that to zero and hit I. And now as I 
hit the spacebar to play, you can see that deformation come in. Okay, so last modifier is pretty powerful. Um, you gotta be very particular about how you set it up, but once you do, it gives you a lot of control. It's, it, and it can offer deformations similar to proportional editing, but in a non-destructive way.